Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Guys, don't forget, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, Christmas season is upon us. That brings us to today's video sponsor. Are you sick of walking around with a wallet super thick and you're sitting on it and feels like you're sitting on a mountain? Do I have a solution for you? Check out this bad boy. This is from Trayvax. It is leather, super minimalistic. You can fit like eight cards in here, 10 bills or so. It's thin. You can't force a bunch of stuff into it. I've been using this thing for about eight months now. I've had it in my pocket every single day. You can hardly tell it's there. I absolutely love it. It's got a 65 year warranty on it. It's even got a bottle opener. So if you're looking for something to get someone and you don't know, the more I look at this thing, the more I like it. This thing is awesome. Did I mention you can get stuff carved into the back? Not only do they have wallets, they have belts. This belt right here, I absolutely love. I don't know about you guys but usually I get stuck in between holes on a belt. Nobody likes that because then you have to make a new one. This one, all you do is you take this little aluminum piece of metal, you stick the belt through, you get it to your desired tightness, and then you just run it through the other side. I've been wearing this every day for 10 months as well. I've never had it come loose and I absolutely love it. Keep in mind, this is a little bit more of a low profile belt. So if you clip stuff to your belt, you might want to try it out at home before you go out in public because you might accidentally lose something off of it. Just keep that in mind. It's also super, super light. While it's your belt's not your thing, check out this bad boy. <laughs> this is new to Trayvax. Really cool. I carry this on my hip, on my left side, I carry a pocket knife on my right side, and it doesn't matter where I am, and I always have a pocket knife available. It also comes in this leather sheath. And if none of that stuff suits your guys' fancy, check out the website they have a whole bunch of other stuff they have different styles wallets belts whatever if you use the code cornstar you'll get 10 percent off all right guys let's get into the video now that harvest is over we basically have all the cleanup done around here we just have a couple little projects left to clean up and then we're going to start hauling a bunch of corn we just have this front pit left to clean a little bit of corn out of we need to clean out the boots on the leg again then we need to set this auger up here so that way we can pull a wagon over it and then when we haul loads of corn from the big machine shed up to here we can load the hopper bottom and then we can fill semis a lot easier instead of just having to fill them with carts then truckers can fill them when we are not here last night we were having an issue with one of these connections so dad's working on that right now i think i'm getting this is the old one kind of burnt a little bit so i think we got her I put a new one on no bueno but i think we got her about done here cool so i'm going to try it in a minute let's jump into some projects quick see what we can get done we'd kind of like to get some of these outside things done that really need to be done before the weather gets really cold and nasty it's only 38 degrees out right now so not too bad the first thing we're going to do with that been there there's an auger on the other side there was a motor on it but we need to drive that motor for another auger over here so we're going to take that motor and put it back on the bend we have beans in that bend and we're going to be loading some beans pretty soon this is the one we need that bad boy is 160 pounds at work right now out here on video Because I, I lift up, I just sink down. Well, pick up your bucket, back up as far as you can, and then drop it. You almost had it. Okay. 
It only took like 10 skid loader bucket fulls, but we finally got this cleaned out. I definitely got my workout in for the day. Hey kids, I was just thinking, I do think now and then, that's what makes my hair stick up. But you know, one of these days when you're just sitting around with your mom or dad, or just kind of sitting there on the couch talking and stuff, just look them in the eyes. Just say, mom, dad, why can't you guys be as cool as Daddy Cornstar? See if they give you the look and then look at them and tell them, hey, I'm joking. You guys are even cooler than Daddy Cornstar because you're my parents. We always want to look up to our parents. I know we always look across the fence and we think, oh, so-and-so's parents are better than my parents. I never did that. But uh, we just got to remember our parents love us and someday we'll look back and uh, we'll miss them. So, you know, you want to you wanna enjoy every moment you can with them and stuff at any age. It's something that we need to do and just be proud of what we have and our parents and stuff. And I know there's a few parents out there I even run into sometimes that half crazy, but, you know, actually when I get talking to them, they're down to earth also, so... <laughs> I'm picking on you guys, but really, we need to look up to our parents. We're lucky that people love us. Ah, it's a great day to be out on the farm. Right now, it is the best time of the year. We are in grain hauling season. Basically, I'm saying it's payday season for farmers. When we load our grain up and we sell it, that's when we get paid. We got about 300,000 bushels of corn to haul in and about 30,000 bushels of beans. So we got a whole bunch of work to do here over the next few months. Right now, Dad's in the building behind this one. We call it the big machine shed. He's loading a grain cart with corn right now. And he's gonna drive it right out here. He's gonna dump it in that wagon, which is gonna go in the auger is going to go in the leg, which is going to empty into this hopper bottom bin. Once the corn's in this hopper bottom bin, then we can have it in storage here so when truckers come, they can back up under the sauger and then they can fill themselves. That way we don't have to be here to fill semis and we can go off and do other things. We can be moving corn and they can come in, get a load, take it in. Makes it a lot easier on our end. Working on the corn mountain here. We're having a little issue with the cord here. So dad's putting a new box on the end right now. Basically we run electricity from the wall up there down into this auger and then the electric motor runs it. We use the skid loader here to keep pushing the auger in as we go. When the auger's planted in the middle, we can generally do about three to four auger wagons before you have to move it. The further you get to the side of the corn mountain, the more you have to move the auger. So it's kind of nice when you're just stuck in the middle. Okay, remember white, green, black. You look like a unicorn. We figure here in the big machine shed, we got about 60,000 bushels worth of corn. We like to get this out right away because we can't blow air through it. So if it gets a hot spot in it, we really don't have much of a choice but to kind of let it bask or get it out of here. And it's also nice to get this empty right away. That way we have the machine shed to store our equipment inside. As you guys can clearly see, the front end of the big machine shed here is pretty much packed full of equipment. So all of our semis have to sit outside and we don't really like to have to have that happen. And then so we don't have to have more stuff sit outside, our main heated shop is packed full of stuff and we like to have a lot of room to work on stuff in there so it's annoying when we're just working around storage equipment in there so that's why it's nice to have this empty okay i need to go set up an auger to the bean bin out back my hands are getting cold so i'm gonna put some gloves on That auger there has to fit under there. We got about three to four inches of frost. I'm just trying to get below that frost layer. Then I should be able to peel everything right up. No problem. Just getting through that initial frost layer is the hard part. This way, I might as well be able to pull right under this auger. Then we can load beans onto them. It only took me 30 minutes and a whole bunch of clawing with tobacco to get through this. The issue of digging up tobacco and the top layer is frozen is my little paws here don't want to sink down into the ground. So when I get pulling too hard, I slide. That's how thick the frost is, about four inches. Frozen. It's about 18 degrees out today and it's a good day to try to blow cold air in on the corn. Make sure there's no hot spots in the corn. Get some good cold air in. So let's see if we can get this thing fired up today. Oh, it's cold. I should have had my earplugs in. Woo. We're gonna talk safety from Daddy Cornstar. Good old mighty fire extinguisher. Guys should always have them kind of laying around in the shop, 
in the vehicle, wherever, handy in case of fire. But I was just thinking here on the grain setup, I was looking at the grain dryer and the LP lines and stuff running to it. I don't know about you, but if that thing catches on fire, that fire stringer sure is going to stay on the floor and I'm going to be heading down the road as fast as I can run. A couple of years ago, yeah, it's been more than a couple of years ago, but uh, one of our combines started on fire in the engine department. I had a brand new fire extinguisher, a big one I just bought that fall, put it in the combine with me. I grabbed it, ran up to the fire. It wasn't that big right away, but hot enough you didn't want to get too close. I pulled the trigger and it goes puff. A little, little powder comes out. Pulled it again, puff. Yeah, that worked real good. My insurance man said I should carry a sand shovel and throw dirt at the fire. All right, <laughs> yeah. It's like carrying a spoon and throwing water on a big burning tanker. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This is the end of the video. It's the worst part, I know. Don't forget to like the video, guys, if you liked the video. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments. And guys, we have so many projects here on the farm. We have so much stuff to do yet, and there's a lot of really exciting things to come. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. Don't worry, subscribing is completely free. So click on that, and then click on the little bell notification, then you'll get a notification when I post a new video. I've been talking way too long. We'll see you in the next video.